Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel. This is Johnny. Brings you weekly interesting internet project for you to do it by yourself. Today, I'm gonna bring you a Docker project, speed test dash x dash en, which is I forked from Bad Apple Nine speed test dash x project. I haven't changed much. Mostly translated in English and uh, modify some parameters. So I enable the same IP, multiple logs, set it true and uh, set the maximum log count to 500. Other than that, I haven't changed anything else, but I did make uh, myself a Docker image with those changes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you quickly how we can deploy it to the um, Docker playground or using the container or either using free tier Koya application platform to deploy as I did here. So now let's jump into it and start to work on. Since Docker image has been created to deploy this image, it's just a one command that you can copy and paste into Docker Playground. You can just shift V and you should be able to bring up in less than two minutes. So the port we map to 9001 so basically you just need to open a new tab to see this 9001 yeah it may take uh, probably a couple of seconds the web service gonna start it then you can start to testing once you finish testing you can check speed to see the test history. The test speed usually depending on your ISP, also depending on your service where you are running. For example, we are running on a Play with Docker, which has some limitation on downloading speeding and upload speeding. You won't get full speed from there. So that's why I won't do the implementation on this kind of service provider. You may want to deploy it on your own and then see uh, how much speed downloading and how much uploading speed you can get. So that's basic steps how you can launch this website and how you can test it with Play with Ground. Next, we are gonna go to the service Coip. So to see how we can deploy from there. Coip is a free application hosting platform. You can deploy Docker directly to their platform without any charges. You can have two nano service for free. Once you have your account, you logged in, you just go to your dashboard and then create your project from Coip. So since we are using Docker, then we know our Docker image. It's gonna pull the latest speed test dash x dash en image next so they're gonna ask you where you're gonna run this docker from so here is friends we are running on a web service you can choose your services so we can have two nano services i already run one it's my testing, but now you can have your own here. Choose another nano service. If you need a larger size, then you can choose a micro one for yourself. But for this project, the nano type as instance is more than enough. There's a couple settings you may want to change it. So you want to change it, the environment variables the port is 80, so we are using port 80, and you want to expose to port 80 as well for you to do further testing. 
then you need to give it a proper name. So let's say I gonna give a test name, test speed. So then do deploy. In a couple of minutes, it should be deployed. Um, we won't wait that. But I want to mention one thing. What I did is you can assign domain to it. So for example, I already created fast.51sec.org, this uh, domain name for uh, one of my nano service speed test. So you can have another one called um, speedfast.51sec.org and then you can assign to your coip test speed. Or maybe you can use test speed as, so then you can add a domain. It only allows you to assign one domain here. So we won't be able to do this since we already assigned fast of every one sec the org. So we can test that out. But the concept or steps are exactly the same. So you should be able to um, use in the coip to deploy your this project for free. The speed is much faster than Docker Playground, which you can get. My internet speed is around 150 and uploading speed is around 32 meg bps. Here is already get the maximum for uploading speed, but download speed they couldn't reach that high. You are able to see the history here. So here is what I already tested. You can see the shows you history, time, uploading, downloading speed, which ISP and which city and pin time and the jitter those kind of information. So that's pretty much for how you can deploy using the free platform CoEP to do this deployment. My last deployment method I was strongly suggest you to do is using your own VPS, which I'm using my own VPS hosting in the Oracle Cloud. Um, you can use Potena to manage your dog. As I'm showing here, you can use in Docker run one command to do that. Here, I'm just show you Potena since I already demonstrated how to use in Docker run. Potena, you just put the name, so we're gonna put the test speed. This is for just testing. And uh, your image, which is uh, I already created that. You want to make sure put the port there, 9001, and port 80, internal. You can expose 9001, which map into your containers, port 80. That's everything you need to do. If you want to change the start policy, you just do change it to always or unless stopped. Then you can deploy the container. So since I already deployed it, I won't show that part. I can just show you this my deployment. You can see the configuration is exactly the same as I mentioned using 9001 container AT port and uh, the restart policy will put in and that stopped. So that's the how you can use container to do the deployment. For the testing, um, I'm here so I did a couple of testing with this 9001 port I exposed to the internet. Just make sure your Oracle firewall or your hosting provider's firewall open the port for your 9001. Else you won't be able to reach your interface here. As you can see, I'm using Oracle testing this deployment, which is get a 400 meg downloading and almost 500 uploading. The pin 2 milliseconds, jitter is 1.74, pretty good. I had a couple of previous testing as well here. You can see the results. All shows here. Pretty interesting and pretty fun. Just for your information. Um, speed is going to crazy right now. It's going to 800. It's almost 1000 gig BPS downloading. For the uploading, it's going to smaller right now. It's 100 meg, less than 100 meg. Let's look at the test result. This so far is best here. It's not consistently. Sometimes Oracle Cloud gets you only 27. That's the last time when I tested it. But still, that's pretty good result here for 1000 gig downloading speed. So, Potainer deployment on your own VPS is a preferred 
methods to deploy in this project, they will give you more room for your testing your download speed out and uh, uploading speed out as well. We're going to do a little bit more on this one because we are we would like to use in our own domains for it. We don't want to use in IP address, so we're going to use NPM. So next section, I'm going to show you how to use NPM and how you can use basic authentication to protect your website if you don't want to everyone visit it. To configure your own domain, access your speed test, dash x website you may need to have your own domain and you also need your domain managed by yourself which I'm using Cloudflare to manage my domain so since we don't have this speed DNS record we're gonna create it the A record gonna point to our npm server which is um, our pre-configured NPM which I used for many labs already. If you haven't watched my NPM video, just check out this video and you will find out all details you need to know for configure your own NPM. So we're gonna point to our speed.51sec.org list domain to IPv4 and save it. So it's been have been added. In this case we can add it speed.51sec.org into our npm configuration. So as you can see they need to forward host name IP address which we have it here. We can just put it in. We don't need to put the port. So that's the only thing you need to do but we need to enable our SSL. In that case we can save it and you will see speed but you want to enable SSL we need to get a certificate let's edit it we can uh, request a new certificate and agree the service terms this internal error message let's cancel it try again with Add it. HTTP, IP address, port. Request a new SSL certificate. Email address. Oh, this time works well. So we can test it. Speed.51sec.org is up and running. We can check the speed. We can test it. That's going to be testing from my home. The IP address is going to be shown differently since we are using proxy. But um, it's still the speed and uploading speed, it will be your real speed. Now one more thing I want to emphasize is the security. If you really want to enhance security, here I can use my predefined test account to enforce the security here. So in that way, anybody access to it, they can uh, get the prompt to ask in username and the password. So let's go back to here, test again, speed. So this is exactly what you're going to see. Uh, the username test, password test, that will bring you to this website and then you can save the password. So it's again, it shows same Cloudflare because I enable a proxy. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back here. We're going to get rid of this, this proxy status. So in that way, you won't use in Cloudflare as a proxy to access the website that will show you real IP in your test result. That's pretty much everything I want to show you. 
in this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumb up if you think there's uh, useful information in this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Thank you.